Hi uh, everyone, this is Dr. Siddha Ling. Today I am going to discuss with you a journal that has been published. It is uh, published in International Journal of Advanced Computer Science and Application, one of the reputed and known journal. You can download this journal from here and it is uh, kept open access so that you can look into here. So uh, this particular uh, research has been carried out uh, along with one of the UG student, the requirement to carry out this particular uh, research where uh, to collect the data from the Twitter and then followed by build a Python code and analyze the results and also build the required uh, predictions, machine learning based predictions. So uh, let me open the slides and then we I can start discussion on the particular topic and then also I will show the overall paper. And what are the points I'm going to discuss today? I am going to discuss about the introduction, what exactly we have done in this particular research and what type of data collection we focused and then followed by the sentiment analysis of the uh, tweets and then uh, followed by the consumer loyalty. So this is the main theme of this particular paper. So how do we measure this particular consumer and then followed by the visualization and consumer loyalty prediction is also being carried out with the help of several uh, machine learning tools. So uh, very important to know that the social media has penetrated across a uh, entire globe. Many people use the social media and uh, share their uh, knowledge, share their thought and experience they have come across of using the various product and services. So this is where we thought of using the social media platform and the related data in order to bring out the consumer related information or extracting the information related to the consumer and then use it uh, in, at the various uh, levels. So initially uh, we have an idea that traditional uh, way of data collection uh, is in the form of giving the various uh, forms supplying to the various consumers or, or the customer and then collecting these uh, details from them and then going for the analysis. So this may take a lot of time and uh, also time consuming as well as the more effort is required. So instead of that, we can uh, go for a Twitter data analysis uh, one of the main aspect of the Twitter data analysis is going for the sentiment analysis and uh, can we deduce the loyalty based on the information that is present in the Twitter. So that's the main idea. Retaining consumer and maintaining the co consumer loyalty is the main thing. Suppose you want to expand your business. So there are two main things. One is to retain the existing uh, consumer and expand your consumer base. So these are the two important aspects whenever you want to expand your market share. So this research focus on analysis of tweets pertaining to airlines. We have taken the case study as the airline and then we carried out this particular research and we perform the sentiment analysis using a text block, which is a tool to measure the sentiment and then we also developed a method to measure the loyalty. So this is the overall introduction. And initial step is to collect the data. So this is the data set. So 18 different airlines have been selected across four different regions. So one is America, Europe, India, as well as Australian. So uh, several number of uh, tweets have been collected. So these are the details have been shown here. And for example, Delta America, 6,000 uh, tweets have been collected. And uh, so others like Air Berlin, so there are 5,822 tweets have been collected. So this is mainly for the academic purpose and to know that whether the loyalty measurement is possible with the help of uh, Twitter data or not. And uh, loyalty measurement, in order to measure the loyalty, we created a second database the database number two and we query the tweets with the help of uh, these strings so whether the strings such as loyal flyer loyal to airline left airline is present in those uh, customer tweets or not so out of that 10,000 tweets have been collected so out of that there are 524 are uh, loyal 
uh, airline loyal to airline and 524 are left so you have a 50 50 percentage of the users and overall uh, step processing goes like this way uh, the initially we use the twitter api in order to perform the data collection and the data related to airline has been collected data pre-processing has been carried out refining the tweets uh, removing the unwanted noisy data uh, from the tweet that is the first step of twitter the data processing and then go for a sentiment analysis so initial data sentiment analysis will indicate how many number of positive tweet negative tweet what terms of positive and what terms of negative tweets are associated now especially when you take a look at it the positive tweets they indicate the best performance of the airline so if they are good at the customer service if they are on time if the food service is very good those will be reflected on the positive tweet. and similarly if the negative tweets and along with the words related to negative tweet terms indicate the aspect in which the airline has to improve their services and along with that there are various visualization we have carried out so something like mean uh, sentiment score so positive and uh, sentiment negative sentiment uh, visualization for a given time span so these are the various uh, visualization is also possible with the help of the tweets and then comes our one of the main prime focus is on the loyalty measure so how do we say that whether the person is loyal or not so he must be happy with the service and he want to continue so as we already know that we have used the term loyal to the airline or he is happy to use the particular airline those type of tweets are collected so they indicate that the person is loyal and continue to lo uh, loyal to the particular service and along with loyalty measurement one more important factor comes because he is loyal he is going to retain his service and continue to use the particular airline as his uh, preferred airline along with that he is also influencing his uh, followers followers in the uh, twitter and therefore we analyze the influence factor so based on the two measurements one is the number of followers and likes as well as the retweets so likes uh, retweets and the number of followers indicate the uh, his influence on the different customers so along with his uh, opinion or the sentiment and the influence that he makes it uh, both together will create our own consumer loyalty so this is how the entire processing the this particular flow sh uh, chart shows the overall uh, processing and computing the loyalty measurements so initially we go for a uh, specific type of tweets so it's very important to do know, uh, know and uh, collect the type of tweets we want so whether he's left the airline or he's happy to, to continue those type of tweets have to be collected uh, in order to cover the both the segment like loyal and not loyal and the user names also collected and then followed by their followers how many numbers so this is mainly the count of the followers what we want more interested and the likes for that particular tweets and the number of retweets so this will uh, count in terms of the influence and then uh, use the user uh, tweet and then perform the sentiment and then there are two segments will take place one is the positive part of it another one is negative part of it and along with the influence factor it will create our uh, consumer loyalty so that much loyalty and also he brings extra loyalty to the uh, service uh, for the airline services and uh, this is the overall result part of what we have done experiment so first data set consists of four regions india and in indian region there are around 6000 and for the european uh, region there are 14000 tweets have been collected and for american is around 13200 and australian is around 21000 airlines so this is collected to analyze the tweet and the sentiment second one uh, second data set is uh, consisting of uh, 10000 tweets and these are collected with a particular uh, query and consisting of a particular uh, string in it so something like loyal flyer loyal to airline and left airline so these are the 
different strings which are used to collect 10,000 uh, tweets. And followed by that, we also analyze the most frequent terms that are present in uh, all these uh, different uh, is a segment of uh, year uh, line regions. So something like uh, awesome, delicious, excellent. So this, these are some of the most frequent uh, terms which have been observed in the entire data set. And this will show the uh, mean sentiment score both uh, in terms of positive as well as the negatives uh, because there are positive tweets also and there are negative tweets. So overall, if you plot it to the different uh, year lines, so you, there are some negative and some. So this is the mean uh, sentiment score for that particular uh, year line. And uh, very important to know what terms are very important. Uh, uh, customer are very satisfied what terms uh, the customer are not so satisfied so there are positive terms uh, and those what is the percentage of those positive terms also uh, being checked here so one of that is booking preference chance of, of volunteer detail recipient so these are the different uh, terms for which the customer are happy or shown along with the positive sentiments and there is a negative tweets and the words, most frequent words, common uh, issues. We can identify that uh, baggage service, customer service, and flight delay. These are the some of the. So the negative terms will indicate that the service can be improved on these aspects. And the positive terms indicate the best performance on the, uh, on the term in which the airline is already performing very well on those aspects. And continuing to that, so we have a two uh, part in the database two. Database two consists of 524 expressed themselves explicitly as they continue to use the service and uh, continue to have a uh, loyal using those tweets and the expression that we have given uh, to compute the loyalty measure. So for all of 524, the loyalty measurement is being computed so this is the loyalty measurement con uh, consumer loyalty measurement has been computed based on our proposed equation and this part is the same equation for the another 512 524 who have uh, expressed has left airline or will le leave the airline so we can see there is a distinct difference between the uh, computed uh, both the lo uh, loyal values over here and we can uh, further analyze with the various uh, positive score as well as the negative score and the number of followers here and because uh, there are two uh, path one is loyal and another one is not loyal uh, part inside the tweet that we, what we have collected so there is a distinct uh, dis difference between the loyal as well as the distinct between the non-loyal along with the followers also can be visualized with the help of 3d scatter plot and uh, we using this particular uh, information we have developed a machine learning model something like a uh, uh, random forest decision tree and logistics regression the feature that what we utilized in order to perform the prediction is the positive score negative score and mean uh, number of retweets, and mean number of likes, and mean number of uh, followers. So that are all these features will constitute the uh, creating the prediction model. And the various predictions model have been uh, followed with the cross validation, tenfold cross validation. The results and the accuracy values of those cross validation have been depicted in the following table. So you can see the random forest is giving very good accuracy of 99.05. So and uh, decision tree is giving 98.97. So these are some of the prediction at the uh, tenfold cross validation results. So at the end of our presentation, what we can take away from uh, this particular idea. So there is a tremendous growth in terms of the social media and it is impacting various sectors. So this is the one key aspect where we can utilize the social media data in order to perform the survey, in order to understand the loyal loyalty of the customer and improve those various services. That is the main part of our research. 
and we mainly focused on the airline segment airline services and four different regions are selected india europe australia and america for which the two databases are created and then the sentiment analysis is been carried out using the text blog and then we have proposed a loyalty measurement uh, equation and that is used to compute the loyalty for the given users and then uh, we have also built the prediction model and three different classifiers have been built and the maximum classification of 99.05 has been found for the random forest so along with that i will also like to show the overall paper structure so this is how the paper structure you can also refer this this is openly available so uh, various equation which are utilized to compute the loyalty measurement have been shown various experiments are shown over here and uh, the these are the some of the additional graphs and then followed by the loyalty measurement the various feature extraction and feature analysis has been carried out along with 3d and uh, 2d scatter plots and then followed by we also compare with the existing work so what were the earlier work related to our consumer loyalty prediction so we can see that there is a big uh, improvement in our uh, random forest uh, classification accuracy so thank you everyone i hope you enjoyed this particular discussion of uh, a research journal that we have published